There will be four questions about friction and reaction units on the A2 test. The most common in use is the clutch pack. These are connected to a specific member of the planetary gear set and drive or hold that member. In this case, the clutch pack is splined to the ring gear. The clutches can be held inside of a drum or on the transmission case itself. These are activated by hydraulic pressure and when activated, drive or hold that specific member of the planetary gear set. Otherwise, they're not doing anything. They'll just be spinning around at rest. The clutch pack consists of a piston, return spring, alternating friction and steel discs. There's also a big, thick steel plate called the pressure plate and everything's held together by a snap ring. When inspecting clutch packs, you're going to look at the friction discs. Make sure they're not overheated. Make sure they're worn evenly. And if they retain fluid, that's okay, that's normal. Don't interchange components. The steels you can just clean with emery cloth. Overhaul units usually include the frictions with the steels. If you've already disassembled the transmission this far, it makes sense just to replace everything. You can air test the clutch pack, locate the appropriate fluid passage, and feed 25 to 30 psi of air pressure into it. Air testing will test the piston for cracks, it tests the sealing ability of the clutch pack, and it tests the return spring. Once I stop the air pressure, the return spring should push the piston back. This clutch pack passes. You can measure clutch pack clearance with the filler gauge. Insert the blade in between the outer snap ring and the pressure plate. The biggest blade I have is 32 thousandths of an inch and there's still some room left. You can also use a dial indicator. Position the tip on the pressure plate, zero it out, and then use a hook to bring up the clutch pack. 48 thousandths, 50 thousandths, 50 thousandths, 49 thousandths, 49 thousandths. The clearance specification for this clutch pack is between 40 thousandths and 70 thousandths of an inch. We are at specification. Too much clearance can make the clutch pack slip. Too little clearance can make the clutch pack drag and overheat. All of these are ways to adjust the clutch pack clearance, except a selective snap ring, stacking an extra steel disc, selective piston, or selective pressure plate. An accumulator can be used with the clutch pack. The accumulator cushions the apply of the clutch pack. It is basically a piston with a spring. If it fails, it will no longer cushion the apply of the clutch pack, and that specific shift will be harsh. Next are one-way clutch assemblies. We talked about overrunning clutches in video number one. The stator sits on an overrunning clutch. Inspection of these is simple. They should freewheel in one direction and be locked in the other. These don't need fluid to function, but fluid flow is important for these. The internal parts, be it rollers or sprags, rely on ATF for lubrication. Fluid starvation can destroy the one-way clutch. There's a more in-depth inspection, but the test will focus on the basics we just covered. Last up is the band. It is used in conjunction with the drum, an accumulator, and a servo. The drum is connected to a member of the planetary gear set. In this case, it uses a sun shell to connect to the sun gear. The band is activated and then it holds the drum, hence holding the sun gear. What is used to apply the band? A servo. A servo is basically a piston that activates when fluid is directed to its passage. The piston pushes on an apply pin or a strut which activates the band. If the servo is defective, its piston fails to apply, then the transmission will slip in the gear it's supposed to activate. If the servo stays applied at all times, 
the transmission will remain in that gear at all times. You can air test a servo similar to a clutch pack, just find its fluid passage. The drum is measured for wear on the band, contact area, just place a straight edge and shine some light. No light should be able to pass by. This one's good. If it was really worn, it would be really obvious. The friction material is inspected similar to the way you inspected the friction material on the friction discs in a clutch pack. The accumulator is also used to cushion the apply of the band. And older transmissions had a band adjustment. For that, just know that if it's adjusted too loose, it can slip. If adjusted too tight, then the band can be engaged at all times. This can lead to staying in that gear at all times, and that's not fun. With the transmission pan removed, the best way to pinpoint an oil pressure leak is to check the filter pickup tube seal, check the line pressure, remove and check the valve body, or perform an air pressure test. See you in video number four. We'll talk shifts.